The island of Janthir has been a mystery since the release of Gitwas 1. Only ever mentioned in dialogue in the original prophecies, its first representation on the world map came with the Eye of the North expansion, but its established labeling only came with Gitwas 2. The only tangible connection we've had with the island has been the Divine Eye of Janthir, a singular artifact of unknown origins. It was originally retrieved from the island by Sol D'Alessio, former leader of the White Mantle, supposedly under command of his unseen gods, the Musat. Even though a connection between the Eye of Janthir and the Musat was established, the Eye's origins were never actually explored, as it was merely explained that the Musat were its masters, a statement that could be interpreted in more than one way. Was perhaps the Eye tethered to the Musat against its own will? Our last meeting with the Eye seemed to be definitive, so we might never know, but it's still fun to speculate. As a starting point, I always like to check for eventual real-life influences, and the only connection that I was able to find for Janthir was Jantirar, a title of the Ethiopian Empire. Embracing this knowledge, I imagined the island to originally be the location of a major city, perhaps the capital of a long gone empire, translated the island of the emperor. It is often assumed that the inhabitants of said island were the Mursat, but this has never been outspokenly said, and it is still questioned in game by NPCs. The only thing we know is that the original inhabitants of the island were said to possess the gift of true sight. What better candidate if not the seers, then? The name chosen for this ancient and mysterious race is inexplicably peculiar, and we know that the eye can possibly show visions of the future. The island could then have been the birthplace of the first bloodstone, a magical artifact that we now know was engineered by the seers themselves during the last cycle to safely store unbelievable amounts of magic away from the elder dragons with the scope of preventing total annihilation. Regardless, their territories and in this view the island of Janthir were sieged and razed to the ground following many internal conflicts over control of the magic pool and during their war with the Mursat, a war that was prompted by the seer's betrayal. They in fact failed, along with the Jotun and the Dwarves, to aid the Mursat and the Forgotten in what was supposed to be the ultimate confrontation against one of the Elder Dragons, Zaitan. The existence of the Seers was forgotten for a long time, but their artifacts were not. The original Bloodstone would be retrieved and stored in Ara by the human gods, but the Eye, in this view also a creation of the Seers, could have been subjugated by the Musat. The interesting entity that is the Eye of Janthir has in fact an intelligence of its own. Its original appearance was changed from being an actual eye encased in a pyramid to it having a more cosmic look, a more figurative eye perhaps. And I have a couple of ideas for what the eye might actually be. If not a powerful seer that volunteered to be transmuted or to ascend to a higher level of existence, the pyramidal prism would act as a link for a cosmic celestial being, perhaps the harbinger of something much greater. In Gear Wars 2, our first encounter with the Eye took place in the Bastion of the Penitent, supposedly an abandoned Mursat facility. Even though it is located in the Woodland Cascades region, the complex appears to exist, to quote Glenna, on the edge of our place much like the Mursat themselves. The appearance of starfields and the presence of celestial energy were possibly caused by the Eye's influence on the region. Furthermore, the Eye momentarily curses players with true sight, one of its original abilities. The Eye's motives are disorienting. While it appears to be the cause of the sufferings inside the Mursat's bastion, Following our every move, and abused by Samarok into channeling celestial energies, Sol's demon could have never been released to be defeated without its intervention. 
flash forward to the final confrontation with the real Lazarus, and again, its motives are unclear. Had the Eye not been there to curse us and Livia with true sight, Lazarus might have escaped once more. Speaking of the fight with the Lars Mursat, while confronting him deep into Abaddon's whirly quarry was pleasantly unexpected, it was at the same time weird. An instance in the island of Janthir could have been an interesting choice. For the sake of speculation, I'll say expanding the war map to the north could have been fruitful for potential things to come. And Siren's Landing could have been substituted with a Janthir map. The Sibylline Badlands, filled with Seer's ruins now repurposed as the final bulwark of the White Mantle, as an ultimate act of disrespect against their gods' ancient enemies. Thanks for watching.